Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part 14 of working with numbers and the operators and methods unit. So let's talk about generating a random number. First, you cannot really generate a truly random number, but nobody can, so we're not going to worry about it. Everything from this point on is going to assume that when we say random number, we mean so random that it could be considered genuinely random, but it isn't because computers have a tough time with that. So there. Now let's talk about a couple different scenarios. If we want to generate a random number between 0 and 1, we're going to use this uh, method, math.random. Um, run this. There's our first one. Those, you know, 0 0.47, 0 0.91, 0 0.86, 0 0.14, and, and so on. So now, uh, you want to keep one thing in mind. This could be 0, but it'll never be 1. So it's inclusive of the first value of 0 and exclusive of 1. And that's going to come in handy when we, you know, start working with it in a minute. Uh, so let's say we want to generate a random number between 1 and 10. This is just one of those where we're going to give you a formula for it and just use the formula. So to generate a random number between 1 and 10, we're going to say math.random times 10 minus 1, which is our max minus our min, plus our min. If you work it out, you'll find out that that's actually going to generate a random number between 1 and 10, but uh, it's one of those where if you feel like messing with that for a while and figuring out that that's the case, cool. If not, just go with the formula. So 2.32, 2.2, 7.38, 7.53, 8.54. We get the idea. So let's talk about this with some variables. So let's consider we have a min and a max, and we need a random number between that min and max. So to get a random number between the min and the max, we're going to apply this exact formula right here. Usually there would be more to this kind of a demonstration to give you, you know, a lot of context, but this really isn't one of those times. There will be situations where you might want a random number between some min and some max. This will let you do that. So if we run, we'll see that we get some number between 90 and 100. We do it a couple more times. We'll see that that's going to be the case universally. Now, we're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters representing lower and upper bounds for a random number to be generated and returns a randomly generated number within the described bounds. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of generating a random number using the math.random method along with the formula described above, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have generated, sorry, that you will have completed the gener, oh boy. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, generate random number. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab this. We are going to keep this because it's going to be useful to, make, uh, to have that formula at hand. There's our stub. Here's a test case. And cool. So create a result variable and assign it to a formula for a random number between min and max, which is very conveniently exactly this. And then we'll return the result. So if we run, that's between 1 and 10. We'll run it a couple times just to make sure there's no obvious errors going on. There are not. So let's copy this function, paste it into the input window, and run the tests. And we're looking good. Excellent work. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.